Amsterdam Schiphol is the third busiest airport in Europe. Excluding Istanbul, amongst the top three are London Heathrow, Amsterdam Schiphol, and Paris Charles de Gaulle. Now, what's different about Amsterdam here is the population. Heathrow serves London, which has a population of about 8.9 million. Paris itself, excluding surrounding communes, has a population of 2.1 million. But surprisingly, Amsterdam has a population of just 822,000 people. Yet its airport is being compared to massive cities like London and Paris. Now, for those of you who think that this traffic might be because of tourism in the Netherlands, it is not. The Netherlands does have decent tourism because of Amsterdam, but it isn't as big as France or the UK, which are both in the top five of most visited European countries. So. Why is Amsterdam Schiphol such a busy airport, even though the city it is in has very little population? Well, it's true that Amsterdam is not a big city, but if you put the whole Netherlands as a city, it suddenly becomes very big, certainly bigger than both Paris and London. Well, that's exactly the case with Amsterdam Airport. The Schiphol Airport is geographically nearest to Amsterdam, but in reality, it serves the whole Netherlands. I say this because Amsterdam has the only airport in the Netherlands with flights outside of Europe. It's not the only airport. There are other airports as well, but most of them are only used for military or general aviation purposes and are much smaller. For example, the second busiest airport, Eindhoven, averages about 70 flights per day, and the third one, Rotterdam, about 30, while Amsterdam nears about 800. Apart from Schiphol, Rotterdam and Eindhoven are the only two airports in the Netherlands which have somewhat of a presence. But again, they do not have any sort of long-haul flights or international connections. So, for international travel outside Europe, Amsterdam Schiphol is the only entry and exit point for flights in the Netherlands. Now, if you think, why is that? Why does the Netherlands have only one true international airport? Well, that's because it only needs one. Considering the size of the Netherlands, one works just fine. To put it into perspective, Netherlands is just twice the size of New Jersey. The length of the country is about 400 kilometers, and Amsterdam is just in the center, which means if anyone from the farthest has to come to Schiphol, we'll have to travel just about 200 kilometers, which is not so bad, considering the well-connected national rail network in the country. Now, if the Netherlands only has one international airport which connects outside Europe, this means that this is the only place where international tourists can land. And even though the Netherlands doesn't have big tourism compared to other European countries like France and Italy, it adds significantly to the airport numbers. That's because there is only one airport in the country, so all the traffic that is coming to the Netherlands is being concentrated at one airport. Besides, Amsterdam is generally the city most people tend to visit in the Netherlands, but it doesn't matter, because even if they wanted to visit any other city in the Netherlands, they would still have to land at Schiphol, basically adding a country worth of passengers to one airport. In other countries, let's say the UK, they have several airports with long connections, so the international traffic gets diverted between several cities, like in the UK's case, it could be Manchester, Glasgow, or London. Now, internationally, the Amsterdam airport serves the whole country. But when it comes to domestic, it is not only the people of Amsterdam that travel through here. In reality, there are several other small cities around Amsterdam that add to Schiphol Airport's domestic traffic. For example, Harlem, a city just outside Amsterdam, is served by Schiphol. And another one is Utrecht City. But that's not it. It goes even further. Since the Northern Netherlands doesn't have any commercial airport, provinces like Flevoland, Friesland, Drenthe, Overijssel, and Groningen adds up to the domestic traffic as well. This all adds up to about 4.5 million people. So you could say at least 4.5 million people in the Netherlands would choose Amsterdam for domestic use, and the whole Netherlands, which has a population of 17 million people, will use it for international. Now, 4.5 million is a far greater number than 800,000 of Amsterdam's population, 
but it still doesn't cover how many passengers that airport handles. If you take the example of Berlin, the number of passengers that traveled through Berlin Airport in 2022 is about five times the population of Berlin, while with Schiphol, it is 12 times, considering the population of 4.5 million. Although, we are still not counting Netherlands added international travelers, but even if we did, it won't cover from 12 to 5 times. Well, if you are wondering how's that, it's because you don't necessarily need to have a big city nearby to have a big airport. I mean, of course, if you have a larger population, it would add to the passenger number, but a few other factors come to play here as well. To better explain it, let's take the example of Frankfurt Airport. It is a big airport serving a big city, but compared to Berlin, it is five times smaller, with about 700,000 people. Yet the capital city Berlin, with a population of 3.6 million, has an airport smaller than half that of Frankfurt. And not just the capital city, but other more populated cities, like Munich and Cologne too, have smaller airports than Frankfurt. Well, that's because of Germany's airline Lufthansa, which has its hub in Frankfurt, which automatically made Frankfurt a transit hub for basically the world. And the same is the case with Amsterdam. It's the only hub of its national airline, KLM. KLM has been very successful in selling its long-haul flights, creating a large business for Schiphol and transit passengers. In fact, almost one-third of passengers that travel through Schiphol are transit passengers. On top of that, the airport itself is phenomenal, so people choose it more often for a stop. Unlike Paris CDG or Heathrow, the airport follows a single main terminal concept, and so passengers don't have to move around a lot to get flights, and it is less stressful. This concept is really helpful for major hub airports, but unfortunately, only a few have this. In London, Heathrow requires a tube transfer to get from Terminal 4 to 5, or Terminals 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. And at Paris Charles, you seem to be on a bus all the time. Just because of the better experience, a lot of people from the UK choose Amsterdam over Heathrow for an intercontinental flight. Usually, people from Glasgow or Edinburgh take a stop at Amsterdam while heading to long-haul routes that their home airports don't serve. And since KLM has a strong presence in both Glasgow and Edinburgh, the transit is seamless. Sometimes people might choose Amsterdam for affordability as well. KLM is often a cheaper option, so Amsterdam Airport would be much cheaper than the original destination in Europe someone wants to go to. So people would book flights to Amsterdam, and since Amsterdam has a railway station just below the airport, getting to other European cities is much easier. The train is right there at the airport, and not just six times an hour to Amsterdam, but high-speed trains that go to Rotterdam, Antwerp, Brussels, and Paris. All this with modern, attractive terminal buildings which encourage incredible ease of movement makes Schiphol very preferable. These factors might be little, but they do become a reason for someone, somewhere, to take a stop at Amsterdam Schiphol. Now, lastly, the Netherlands is a highly industrial country and is the European hub for some of the largest companies in the world. It is also home to Europe's largest port, Port of Rotterdam, which brings several types of business trips. At last, the success of the Netherlands in making Schiphol a worldwide hub for planes and attracting people is the result of constant efforts made by the government. Although, it is important to mention that without KLM's success, Amsterdam Schiphol wouldn't be here. <laughs>